there are some weapons in Terraria that just seem to have been forgotten from time. This can be due to a number of things, such as the way it is obtained, its overall functionality, and of course its relevance in progression. Today, we're going to be looking at a hard mode gun that up until recently was hardly used by anyone thanks to its bland and disappointing performance. Of course, I'm talking about the Venus Magnum. Now, this weapon was never particularly terrible, it was just a little boring, as it came at a time in the game when there were so many more better options available for the player. But, thanks to the 1.4.4 update, the potential of this weapon has been completely redefined and is more viable than ever. Before we jump into it, if you enjoy these weapon reviews, don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss the next one. Anyway, let's see where you get this thing. The Venus Magnum is a Plantera drop, meaning you'll need to head to your underground jungle after defeating the three mech bosses and find a Plantera bulb. Before you do that however, I'd highly recommend making a sizable arena beforehand, for this I'd simply either dig it out by hand or just litter a large area with sticks of dynamite. Once cleared, extend some long platforms throughout, and with a large enough space, the whole fight experience will be a lot easier. When it comes to actually finding a bulb, this is pretty much all RNG. And if you find one far away from your arena, don't worry, as you can easily just walk Pantera slowly to your arena without much danger. During the fight, for melee players, I'd recommend using the Death Sickle as your weapon of choice, as the lingering projectiles mean you can deal good damage while staying far away from the boss. For you rangers out there, I'd simply recommend the Uzi, as it gets the job done and is incredibly easy to use with the high velocity bullets. If you're playing mage, go for something like the crystal serpent staff or the magical harp, as the extra projectiles can deal with Pantera's second stage very well. Finally, for you summoners, I'd recommend the sanguine or blade staff, as both melt Pantera when paired with a good whip. Now then, with the boss down, you're presented with a 14.29% chance of getting the Venus Magnum from your treasure bag. Let's take a look at what it can do. The Venus Magnum is a gun that converts regular bullets into high velocity ones. This is very similar to that of the Uzi, but for the longest of times was semi-automatic, meaning the fire rate was tied to how fast you could pull the trigger. This, unless you were some kind of machine, cut a large chunk of its potential damage off, as the fire rate was so inconsistent. However, in 1.4.4, the weapon was given auto-fire, meaning it now fires at its maximum speed at all times. As you can see, this alone had a significant impact on its DPS. Oh, and something I find interesting about this buff is that the auto-fire feature was made toggleable in the settings anyway, kind of making the buff redundant. Against groups of enemies, it now performs incredibly well. I'd even say it's worth ditching the piercing of the high-velocity bullets and going with Chlorify instead, as with such a high fire rate, you want to be making sure you land every shot. At this point, the Venus Magnum can very much be considered a post Pantera upgrade to the Uzi, and by god is it good to have. And of course, being a gun, it has no trouble destroying bosses. Using the default high velocity bullets, Golem truly doesn't stand a chance, and this is now by far one of the best weapons to use against Golem if you're after speed. You can hit all three segments at once at a rapid pace from a massive distance. What more do you want? And if you've still not defeated Duke Fishrun yet, the Venus Magnum paired with Chlorified Bullets is just perfect for this, and I'd say performs on par, if not better, than a tactical shotgun. The Magnum is even capable of challenging a late game event like the Pumpkin Moon, as its single target DPS can sort out the high HP mini bosses no problem. Previously, this was far more annoying to do, as you'd spend half your time clicking frantically just to deal a fraction of the damage you can now. I really don't understand why they made this weapon manual fire for so long. It seemed like nothing but a downgrade to its early game counterparts. And this, for me, makes me wonder if perhaps this change was made too late. And what I mean by that is, is its reputation unsalvageable. If I hadn't checked the patch notes and realised the Venus Magnum had been reworked, I probably would have continued ignoring it and been frustrated when I got one instead of a wasp gun or a seedler, as it's now in many ways on the same tier as the sniper rifle and the tactical shotgun. What do you think, with the new changes made, is the Venus Magnum worth going for now? Thanks for watching. For more Terraria content like this, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.